Okay, again this is the Model 32 bender from JD Squared. You've seen how it bends uh, 2 inch 250 wall. Now we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to bend some square tubing. Now there's a variety of dies that are available for this machine and one of them is square. As you can see this has got a little bit different follow bar. There's a brass liner in there and that's going to go into the, uh, that's going to hold up on the piece there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a piece of one inch square into this and show you how it all goes together and then you can watch this machine bend some square tubing. I think you'd be very impressed. Alright, here I have a section of one inch seamless tubing. This is 120 wall. It's relatively heavy wall tubing and this is something that you're going to find in your shop. Uh, uh, fabricators can use this for a uh, number of things. Some people are going to use it for a Nerf bar, bumper supports, that sort of thing. Uh, you can use it around the shop in any number of ways. It's always been kind of a challenge to bend square tubing because it tends to wrinkle. Uh, with this bender, you're going to find that bending square tubing is no longer a problem. Okay, before we load anything in, on our follow block, now some people don't use lube, uh, some people do. I happen to like putting a little bit of lubricant on my follow block, even in uh, the follow blocks that uh, say they don't require it. I figure it doesn't hurt, so we take a little of this lube and we'll just put it in there. It just makes things go a little bit more smoothly. So you can or can't use it, it's up to you, but in my shop I always use a little bit of lube on the follow block. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of tubing, I'm just going to put it here for the time being, and we're going to load it into the machine. Again, following the directions on here, we're going to go into hole two and drop our pin in there and I'm going to take this piece of tubing and feed it in and we're going to stop right at the end of the die here. This is where we want to begin our bend. Now we're going to then <coughs> affix the tubing to the die with this saddle clamp. When you're bending square tubing you don't want to let this lock pin, this lock bolt contact the tubing because it will leave a mark as you can see on this plate. So JD Squared supplied us with a plate and that allows us to press against the plate which locks the die in place. I drop the pin in and now I can tighten this up. You want to tighten this with a wrench so that you know you're nice and snug and now we're ready to begin bending. So once we have our tubing secured here with our clamp, we notice that it's still got a little bit of play in the die itself. Well, we want to take that out and we'll do that by, we'll start our hydraulic pump up and we'll take out a little bit of slack. So now we take our controller and we just give it a little tap and that'll take the slack out of the tubing and now we're ready to go. From there we'll go down here to our degree ring and we'll set our degree ring at zero. We're solid, we're at zero, we can commence our bend. All right, one last thing we want to do is we want to set our die lock pin. We'll just let that drop down. And you'll watch as this die begins to rotate, this will lift up and then drop into the next hole on the die. That will eliminate any chance of springing back. So we're gonna go, we're gonna bend to 90 degrees, and here we go. Watch this pin. Once that drops in, we're going to stop because we want to repin. We're at 50 degrees now. We can back off and remove this pin. We're going to now bring the arm back. And we'll make sure that we drop in and we're ready to proceed with our bend. Now we're going to come around to 90. Now that's 90 degrees. At this point we could stop and take the tubing out but most likely we won't be at 90 degrees because of spring back. 
So we know in this case, we're going to use about 94 degrees. And so we'll bump it up. One, two, three, four. And we should be ready at 90 degrees now. All right, so now we're going to back off. And we'll loosen this up. Pull our pin, pull our saddle off. Now sometimes the square will tend to stick more so than the round. So you may have to give it a little shot with a mallet. And a lot of times it takes a little bit more than that, but we're lucky today. And we'll bring this out. Put that up there. And here's our tubing. As you can see, it's a beautiful 90 degree bend. Now you'll notice any time you bend square tubing, you're going to get a little bit of flattening. But you'll notice there's no wrinkling in this tubing. So the Model 32 has proven itself to be an extremely versatile tool. It'll bend the heaviest wall tubing you can find, and it will also bend smaller bits. And if you want more information, it's JD2.com. Tell them that you saw it at HRE.com, and you're interested in their Model 32 bender.